Welcome, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a fresh apple pie. This is very simple and easy to make. Now, to get us started, I always make my homemade pie crust. If you don't know how to make a homemade pie crust, check out my YouTube link below in the description box of this video on how to make the perfect homemade pie crust. This is a nine inch pie crust I have here. Here is a crust I'm going to use for the lattice topping once we get our filling in our pie dough here. Then I've got four Granny Smith apples. I'm going to peel these, core them, and slice them very thinly. You're gonna need about five cups of thinly sliced Granny Smith apples. Here's three-fourths of a cup of sugar, one half cup of all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one tablespoon of cube butter. Now, this is a very simple process. First, you're going to add the flour, the sugar, cinnamon, salt, nutmeg in a small bowl, and we're going to whisk this nicely together. Next, we're going to peel and slice the apples. To peel the Granny Smith apples, I'm just going to take off the top, and with a paring knife, I'm going to go between the apple itself and its peel until I get all the peeling um, off of the apple. And if you got those really cool gadgets on adding your apple to um, one of those machines that'll peel the apple by twirling it around in circles, that would be awesome. All right, and let's just take off the bottom, just like that. Now we're gonna slice it in half. You wanna be very careful doing this. Okay, give it a twist. And now you're gonna cut it in quarters. Okay, remove the inside. Not too much, just make sure you get the seeds. And now we're gonna thinly slice the apples just like this, as you can see, until you get them all sliced. I've got my Granny Smith apples sliced, and I've got them in this large bowl, and now I'm going to mix the sugar, the flour, the cinnamon, and nutmeg well by coating each of these apple slices and oh my gosh the cinnamon if you could be here in my kitchen right now and smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg and oh my goodness these fresh apples and there's a little bit of chill of fall in the air and what better way to eat your fresh apple pie all right that looks pretty good looks like it's well tossed next we're adding it into the pie crust be sure to Get it all snuggled down in there. Don't leave any air pockets. And now arrange your apples beautifully and well packed into your bottom pie shell here. Okay, and I've got a few more I can add in here. Now we're taking that butter and you're gonna dab it around on the top of your apple here. And next I'll show you how to add the lattice to the top of our apple pie. For the lattice part, I have this nice little cutting tool here. I've got a flat surface or I've got a decorative surface as you can see there. And I'm going to take my flat pie crust and I'm going to make about one inch strips. Just like this. And now I'm going to start adding them crossways on my apple pie just like that. Now we're going to add another. And as you get closer to the edge, you may use your smaller strips of dough. Right like that. Okay, and like that. Now we're pulling back every other strip 
to the center of the pie and now we'll go this direction and make sure your strips go all the way to the end and then pull these back over and now every other strip we're going to pull back and you can put that until it touches the end of your fluted edges okay oops grab the wrong one there all right and now we'll come back to this side and we'll start with this. You want to make sure your oven is preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if it breaks, no big deal. You can just come back and mend it together just like this. You're just going to squeeze it back together. It's not going to hurt anything. And now back and now back with these three. Or I should say two. And we're going to add the last one. And then bring this back. All right. Now we're going to go around the edges, and we're just going to tuck them under the flute. Now, a lot of people, if you had too much there, you may pull it off just like that and tuck it under. Let's see. And we'll tuck that under. Now, a lot of people like to brush the top of their dough with milk and add sugar, but I just like to keep it just natural. And then continue going all the way around tucking under your lattice part of your dough. If you got too much, again, just remove it and bring it back. And look how beautiful that's going to be. Now that I got the lattice completed on my fresh apple pie, I'm going to transport it over here to a pizza baking pan. That way it makes it much easier to transport the apple pie off the countertop into the oven and vice versa. Plus, as your pie is baking and if there's any spills that ooze out over the edge of your pie pan, this is going to catch it and you're not going to have a mess in the bottom of the oven. So, in the 425 degree preheated oven for the next 35 minutes. Here's that baked fresh apple pie. Look how scrumptious that is and it's bubbly. And listen, I let it bake about 15 minutes more than the 35 minutes. Now, I'm just going to put it here on a cooling rack and let it cool for the next hour or two. And then I'll cut into it and tell you what it's like. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. Here's our freshly baked apple pie. And looky there at the apples and that beautiful lattice top on the pie. All right, gotta give it a try. Wow, perfectly baked. Mmm, still nice and warm. You have that beautiful tender apples with that cinnamon, sugar, and nutmeg. Mmm, it is one of the best apple pies you'll make during this season. Mmm, the crust, you got to make your crust homemade. It'll make all the difference in the world. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm Dorana with Foods 101, and I'll catch you next time.